Uh, which is uh, how to uh, how to learn about uh, the way an issue is talked about in a corpus, uh, and this uh, way should be uh, uh, able to avoid interpretation biases, which are in a, in, in, which are unavoidable sometimes, and be explorative and inductive and automatic. Uh, I'll illustrate this with topic modeling on news corpus about Ukraine crisis. Uh, first of all, what I'm talking about is frame and frame analysis. Uh, frame, uh, it's a concept from sociology, which is uh, basically um, uh, is, uh, used uh, to describe the way an issue is talked about, if we talk about text. Uh, and this is an important research area in social, political science and media studies. Um, well, framing usually refers to selecting some aspects of a reality and, makes them, and making them more salient in a text. Uh, this is uh, very important for news articles and I'm going to uh, illustrate it on them. Uh, in effect, framing uh, promotes some problem definition, uh, interpretations uh, and evaluations and treatment recommendations. So it's very interesting. Uh, how it's usually done? Uh, uh, there are several ways. Uh, first of all, by plain reading. Um, a, a social scientist would read texts and produce uh, his or her analysis. Uh, then uh, there is uh, content analysis, which is basically uh, social scientists would uh, define a priori uh, some codes and then uh, people would look uh, in corpus or text, uh, these codes and count uh, stuff. Then key keyword research, basically same thing, but with software. And uh, people use nowadays supervised machine learning. Um, it's just extension of content analysis. Uh, uh, all these uh, methods uh, uh, have their limitations. Uh, first of all, um, uh, often it's difficult to reproduce. Especially in case of the plain reading, uh, when uh, uh, the results um, are highly depend on uh, a, pers a person who is who's producing the analysis. Uh, it's expensive because we need humans to evaluate text and count things and uh, to find uh, frames in texts. And uh, by making some a priori assumptions about what to look in a, in a, co a corpora, uh, the, the the research is limited in scope. Uh, we, we might we, we might miss uh, some important stuff in our data. So what we need, what I need, is an as unsupervised approach, which must be inductive in its nature, uh, that will allow me to build um, my models from data. Uh, it would. It I need some exploratory, exploratory features. I, for example, if a corpora is uh, very heterogeneous, I, and I don't know beforehand what issues uh, are, are there, so I, I have to explore my, my data. Uh, and it has to be automated and cheap. Uh, topic modeling is uh, best looking candidate uh, for unsupervised approach. Uh, it detects issues in a corpora, it's what it's designed for, uh, to look for topics. It enables to explore, as Kalibanov and colleagues suggest, uh, semantic fields. Um, and in semantic fields, is, uh, he, uh, is there in a personalization of a frame. Uh, uh, and semantic fields are present in topic contents, the result of topic modeling. But uh, topic modeling uh, has uh, limitations for scientists. It's it's unstable, and uh, if you run the algorithm um, with the same parameters on, a s on the same data, you'll you receive s different solution every time. So you have to, it's, it's hard to reproduce, but th uh, there is research uh, that suggests some ways to deal with that. Um, 
Uh, my data is uh, news co coverage of the major events of Ukraine crisis uh, from September 1, 2013 and October 1, 2014. Uh, roughly it includes uh, uh, the major events such as pr protests on Maiden Square, uh, president elections um, and uh, uh, sanctions ag against Russia. Uh, and armed conflicts in southeast Ukraine. Uh, my sources is uh, official TV websites, uh, official websites of TV channel one, Russian, and Ukrainian channel five. And in order to um, to produce joint topic modeling, I had to translate uh, from Ukrainian into Russian uh, with Google Translate my data. Um, I used LDA uh, because in this survey it's. Uh, described as a uh, state-of-the-art technique. Um, it's best uh, suited for my uh, task. And to deal with instability, I, um, uh, I followed this, the following st strategy um, uh, by my colleague, uh, devised by my colleagues from uh, Internet Studies Lab. Uh, first of all, I, fit, I fitted uh, five uh, topic models and uh, then compared similarity between uh, topics, and if topic is similarity between those solutions is more than 90%, I would consider them to be the same topic. And after that, if this topic um, appears more than three times in, in all my five uh, solutions, I would uh, conclude that this is a real existing issue in my data and would uh, study it further. Um, here are some results. Uh, you can see the presence of, of an issue in a text by channels. Um, you could see that Channel 5 talked about more, uh, more about uh, radar news, t demonstration in actions, uh, t Timoshenko release, and uh, armed conflict or counter-terrorist operations. And Channel 1 um, mostly <laughs> talked about Olympics, um, Medvedev news, Putin news, uh, uh, and topic I labeled Apolchenius, which is basically the same as anti-terrorist operations, but um, different uh, language. Um, uh, I'm going to talk ab about only those uh, topics, Apolchenius and anti-terrorist operations, because uh, this case illustrates clearly how topic modeling could be used to, dis to discover um, frames in news. Um, I, I said about that. So here they are. Um, you could see that Channel 1 talks about um, armed conflicts in, in Southeast Ukraine as a war. You could see uh, wars as bombing, military, uh, fire, fight, army, wounded. So you would assume that it's a war story. And Channel 5 presents it, um, not obviously, but y y you could infer from this, um, as uh, some stories of military, some stories of crime, fighting crime or anti-terrorist operations. Um, these wars such as um, at all, anti-terrorist operation defense, zone, operation, power, um, army, servicemen. Um, and uh, to check I if these interpretations are um, uh, sane, <laughs> I, I read, I, I read um, uh, most probable text for, those, for these topics. And indeed, um, Channel 1 um, nar narrates uh, uh, these events as a war story waged by Ukrainian government against its people. And Channel 5 narrates these uh, events as, uh, as, as, as just um, a news from um, counter-terrorist operation and news as, as from fighting criminals, uh, basic stuff like uh, we, we, we read from press re releases of our m police. Um, so my conclusions, um, I believe that LDA is, is, is able to grasp the differences in framing, but um, I, I have found some limitations 
and limitations of my work uh, since it's not over yet. First of all, I did not do any formal test testing, all is based on my interpretation, so re by reading um, uh, topic contents and texts. Uh, then topic labeling, I need uh, some um, <coughs> second opinion about labels uh, I assigned to my topics um, and just checked my interpretations. Uh, uh, then uh, uh, it does not substitute a human reading, um, but in some way it makes it easier. Um, uh, and in my case, only one issue in a corpora um, uh, was uh, so strikingly um, uh, represented. But uh, uh, different topics were not so obvious. You had to go deeper in text and look um, uh, why, why is that? And I think it's not because uh, the algorithm couldn't do that, it's because uh, you have to use some kind of a mixed method, perhaps with different, um, uh, with different tools. Um, here's, thank you. I would like to answer your questions and hear your suggestions. Yes. Uh, with uh, different parameters? Mm, uh, thank you for your questions. Yes, they are all LDA uh, with the same parameters, but um, LDA, uh, it doesn't matter I if you change parameters because results every time would be different. It's a stochastic algorithm. So, yes, it's just the same parameters. Uh, I see. So, you just uh, are searching for the stability elements in this. Uh, for stable <laughs> topics. Yes. Am I going to compare them? Yes, um, as a part of my uh, st study and work, um, I, I actually interested in how how they how uh, how different the, these languages. But um, uh, from reading uh, most probable text, I could say that uh, Channel One is more elaborate in their stories uh, with more details, and Channel Five is just uh, a brief uh, what we've done. It's some terrorists eliminated, some town is uh, liberated, and so forth. Criminals destroyed. Very simple stuff. Mm -hmm. 